Spring holiday season is upon us, but this year's celebrations will be unlike any before. Tonight marks the start of the holiday of Passover as Jews celebrate the exodus from Egypt to Israel. Sunday is Easter and Ramadan begins in two weeks. Jeff Wagner shows us why tonight's celebration is different from all other nights. We're prepared to mute every time Benji barks. Being together while stuck apart. Can we get going? These digital dinners with family and friends. Thanks everyone for being here. Have helped bridge the physical gap caused by COVID-19. And for those in the Jewish faith. It is definitely bittersweet. That connection was of utmost importance Wednesday night, the first night of Passover. Passover seders are the most observed Jewish ritual. So generally we'll get together with um, lots of family, probably around I don't know, like 20 people on average. That's still happening for Mark and Allie Devine's family and relatives only over Zoom. Computers and tablets have joined the traditional Seder setup at the dinner table, allowing them to still share in song and readings. The story of Passover is a story of liberation and new beginnings. It's, it's definitely a, a weird feeling, but we feel lucky that we can find ways to still connect and, and have some sort of normalcy. Something many could use right now. So I think the Seder will serve as a moment for uh, an opportunity for people to break and forget about what's going on in the world. Rabbi Jeremy Fine says meeting virtually will be emotionally tough, but... There'll be funny moments, too. At the beginning of spring, a time for renewal... <laughs> Sorry, we're just getting started. Relatives once deemed too far to come visit, now dining together, side by side. It actually might impact how we do things moving forward. Okay, we're going to say goodnight. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. Bye.